Hello, hello, and welcome back to Ant's Gaming Suite. This is your host, Anthony, and today we are back with another Lost Ark video. I'm absolutely excited because the past two months have been an absolutely blockbuster in terms of all the things that have released into the game. Not so much of cosmetic, I gotta say that, uh, but everything else has been absolutely fantastic from the battle pass all the way into the contents. And there is gonna be a whole bunch of cooler things that's gonna be releasing in the May update, especially with a new class, but we will go through into that. Once again, thank you so much for all the subscribers. I am so close to 4,000 subscribers. Please make sure you guys hit that like in this video, hit the subscribe button for more Lost Art content, and as well, leave a comment section down below. Will you be trying the Destroyer class? I do have a lot of videos planned, uh, especially for the Lance Master. I have been playing her for a fair bit. I definitely didn't do the other class uh, for the Super Express, so you're trying to get to T3. However, I may consider it once the destroyer class comes out i just need to make my decision but so in last month april and may roadmap we gave the first look in terms of what we can expect in may uh, update i'm pretty sure they're gonna do a every two month update in terms of what's gonna be releasing so that is actually pretty cool however it's not never our goal for players to feel they need to pay to progress and players who haven't reached the item levels required to participate shouldn't feel pressure either but the first thing I want to really go into is a vault time. This is where the highest retention uh, in terms of content uh, gets retained in this game. This is the best content that a lot of people will be looking forward to do and a lot of people will be coming back to playing the game just because of this. So the reason why I say that because a lot of people in Korea absolutely love vault time and there is a high retention rate. Um, so what is vault time? It is a legion raid, one of the hardest, I guess, legion dungeons. That's going to be coming into the West. Legion raids are difficult team-based activities that require teamwork to, un to be understood and execute the strategy necessary to beat the boss. However, you will need to be level 415. So if you are not 1415 like I am, you are definitely going to be missing out on these really rare gears called relics, which is going to be one of, I guess, among one of the best gears that you can get towards the end game. But there's going to be a whole bunch of other things that are be missing out on however if you're at 1445 that is when you can get uh, the capabilities to do hard mode i am absolutely nowhere close in terms of my sorceress because i'm stuck at 1358 so that is the gist for it however you're going to get a lot of cool bonus things in terms of the relics so once the relics uh if i get more details on it i will do a separate videos in terms of uh, the stats for the relics for vault time until then i will leave it at that so we're going to have the introduction of a new Guardian Raid boss called Descaluda. Uh, it looks pretty darn amazing actually. Uh, Guardian is pretty much a powerful entity. In order for you to be able to defeat this boss or even enter this boss, you have to be 1450 in order to do so. Uh, similar to the rules in Voltan Legion Raids, players will also have a chance to earn relic quality accessories from defeating the Descalada. Um, pretty much the same how when you do like, you know, Voltan, you're gonna get the armor piece and over here, you kind of get the accessory piece. Same thing will go here. For this Joy Advanced class, this is what I'm gonna be looking forward to. I'm nowhere close to getting to the content area. However, we've talked a lot about the Warrior class and the Battlefield armed with a variety of skills. Destroyers can bend gravity to their will, which is gonna be a pretty darn interesting class to play. Uh, I will have a video out tomorrow in terms of its skills and some of the videos. So I'm pretty excited to showcase some of that. Uh, I know you guys are probably already interested or you've seen videos out there from Korean or whatever, but I will do a video of it anyway. We have additional May content. We have the Challenge Garden Raid. So Challenge Garden Raids will add a new weekly activity for players looking to for a challenge. Each week players can attempt to defeat three Challenge Guardians. Every Garden has their own required item level. Once again, they've already introduced that into the game. There's going to be a new quest and open world activity. Look at this darn chicken. Southburn activity, so Chaos Line hard mode. You have Thunder Field, Field Boss, Southburn Chaos Gate, and Southburn Ghost Ship, and a whole bunch of other arriving in Arcasia. Uh, there's going to be the Wild Wings Island. Arcasia is a vast land filled with mildred of menacing things. Uh, so that's going to be a new quest line, some more open activities and places to visit. As well, they're going to be introducing new guild activities. Uh, I haven't been too much fun on to the guild activities, I think. Uh, I'm just pretty much supporting the guild where I can. However, 
Uh, some of the benefits for guild shop is PvE and PvP guild activities will be arriving in May. Um, so Island Siege, a PvP guild activity that allows you to battle other guilds in PvP combat. And then you do have, uh, so let, before I even jump into the next thing, uh, in terms of the reward, you're going to be getting gems, accessories, ability stones, and a whole bunch of other things. I will cover it once it comes out this month. You have Raid Match. Enter a brace of your guild and challenge with powerful uh, Sumail Devour. Once summoned, you'll have a limited time to cooperate with your guild and quickly destroy the creature or whatever it is. So the faster you kill it, the more you move up to the guild rankings. So I guess this is like a uh, time boss. And then uh, that is pretty much it for the terms of the guild. And then we do have new cosmetic coming into the game. Very chill, but I gotta say it's very slow progress in terms of cosmetic. Uh, they're introducing it once, like a new cosmetic every month. But I'm gonna, to be honest, to be honest I'm not too fussed about it, uh, but this seems a lot more casual. I didn't really like April's roadmap too much either. However, this seems a little bit cooler, something a little bit more modern, something different. And, you know, quality of life updates. Once again, May will introduce a bunch of cool things in terms of daily and weekly content to keep us entertained. And I'm going to be looking forward to June and July roadmap. So hopefully uh, we might not get a new class from, from the feels of it, from the vibes. Uh, that i'm getting maybe towards end maybe in two months time however i don't think we're going to get any new classes anytime soon uh once we do introduce that maybe in a couple of other months maybe four months or so anyway so that's my take on it uh but this is what they're going to be mentioning so we're excited for new activities coming in i guess later in that month seeing that players attempt the first legion raid participate more in game content gilded guild stuff uh we have the guardian raid and a whole bunch of more other things anyway this is going to be wrapping up the video for may update reveal for we've got pretty much the roadmap for it which is pretty darn exciting uh, i've got a lot of catching up to do but let me know in the comment section down below are you going to be playing the or do you rather the destroyer or do you rather the gavel gavelier class but anyway until then i'll catch you guys in the next one